Amanda, the, the, the president does seem to be in a, in a rush to ease lockdown. Yeah, he wants schools reopened by autumn, even though uh, Dr Anthony Fauci, who's leading his coronavirus task force, said in a separate hearing uh, on Capitol Hill, look, we can't rush this, we just don't know the impact yet that this virus has on children, and then that is something we just can't confirm happening at the moment. They've had quite a public break uh, in their views on that. And what you have is a further compounding, really, of this um, battle ongoing between politics and science here in the United States, as particularly Republicans, led by Donald Trump, want to push this idea of reopening. Now, what they're saying, uh, what was said today by Dr Rick Bright, who is uh, uh, formerly led the government agency that was leading efforts on a vaccine, was a pretty stark warning about what state the US could be in by the end of the year if there isn't some kind of master plan put in effect now. Americans yearn to get back to work, to open their businesses and to provide for their families. I get that. However, what we do must be done carefully and with guidance from the best scientific minds. Our window of opportunity is closing. If we fail to improve our response now based on science, I fear the pandemic will get worse and be prolonged. There will be likely a resurgence of COVID-19 this fall It'll be greatly compounded by the challenges of seasonal influenza. Without better planning, 2020 could be the darkest winter in modern history. So Dr. Rick Bright there, who was forced out of his role uh, by the Trump administration last month, he says because he made early warnings about the lack of equipment, about the severity of what lay ahead for America, and was criticised for those warnings, uh, which he says were ignored. He also says that he feels he was pushed out because he refused to push drugs, uh, treatments, uh, untested treatments for coronavirus, like the anti-malarial drug hydroxychloroquine, which the president was really pushed uh, quite aggressively for quite a long period of time. He refused to do that and he says uh, that that's one of the reasons he believes that he was pushed out of his position. Now Donald Trump mentioned Dr Rick Bright's uh, testimony briefly on his way to Pennsylvania. He's going to a medical distribution uh, centre there uh, and he has uh, been speaking about uh, what he thinks is behind Dr Bright's testimony. Uh, I'll tell you what, to me, I watched this guy for a little while this morning. To me, he's nothing more than a, a really uh, disgruntled, unhappy person. And I'm not just talking about Alex, because Alex said it strongly. But there are a lot of people that do not like the job he did. I don't know him. I never met him. I don't want to meet him. But I watched him, and he looks like an angry, disgruntled employee who, frankly, according to some people, didn't do a very good job. So Donald Trump pushing the idea that he has done a very good job when it comes to handling this outbreak, something that he recognised from the start. The Democrats have a very different idea that he simply didn't act quickly enough, didn't treat it seriously enough when the warnings were out there. So what we've really seen on display this afternoon, Colin, is this deep divide uh, politically. Coronavirus has become politicised in the United States. You saw that in the questions that members of Congress were posing to Dr Bright uh, just in terms of the absolute gulf between uh, the science and the politics that is really deepening here in the United States.